What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome if you're new. And uh, good morning all, good afternoon depending on where you're from. And in this video we're taking a look at Perpetual Protocol or just the PERP token. Um, which I think it's fairly obvious why we're covering this, definitely when looking at the chart. Um, but it's also, uh, it's also a very interesting project. It has been on my radar since the listing on Coinbase last year, I think. Um, but it's also a very interesting project. There are a few projects that, that kind of do the same thing. Um, but still, definitely interesting to check out. Volume at this point in time has also seen a massive increase, first of all, uh, from about 7 million to uh, 120 uh, million, and we're up 37%, 40% against the market because the market has been dropping down a little bit. So that's all great. Um, the reason why I wouldn't buy Perpetual Protocol myself at this point of time is because of the inflation, uh, which is uh, pretty obvious as you can see here. We've reached the same price areas uh, almost as we did uh, 31st of May, uh, while the price is way lower. So there's on the short term, there's just a lot of inflation still in perpetual protocol, which isn't a bad thing about the project. It's not a scam or anything, but that's just how the project works and how the platform works. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't make it that attractive of an investment at this point of time, maybe later. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> with Perpetual Protocol, when I did the analysis, as you can see, we hit this level here at 1.36 and 1.45. And we hit that and we actually managed to close above 1.2, which as you can see is the upper bound of this bigger key area. Uh, so I am expecting some sort of a uh, I, I am expecting some sort of a bullish reaction off of that level still, uh, maybe to reach 1.35 again, maybe to reach a little bit higher. But after that, I do think we'll drop down to this level here, around one dollar, and that gets a little bit more interesting because that's actually a very strong support level first of all, um, but it's also just a, a very important key area, right? It's 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 a psychological key area. So I think that's going to hold. And from there, what I expect, what I think is most likely is that we'll actually drop down to 95 cents, take a break, retest and drop down to, to this 80 cent level. That's what I think is the most likely scenario at this point of time. If we just take a look at the general market structure of perpetual protocol and these runs that we've had earlier, um, <clears throat> that, that, that just tends to be what happens uh, after a run, run like this. But from that, the market circumstances aren't looking great either. Uh, that's why I think off of that $1 support level that will break through that and drop down to 80 cents. Um, however, there's definitely the uh, possibility and, and a probability that I'm wrong. And that would be that if we hold $1 and the market actually gets up, so the market actually gets uh, like Bitcoin, for example, gets towards 25,000 and 25,500, um, if that happens, and therefore if the market is relatively bullish, then I think we'll hold that and even can get a run all the way up to 1.5. And maybe 1.6 and 1.7, but that's not something I'm discussing right now. Um, I'll probably update that when I, when I think that's possible. For now, I think it would be 1.5. Um, so what we do, I, I think that drop down to a dollar is inevitable, but what we do from that level, as I said, I think the most likely scenario is, is that we'll kind of consolidate on top of it and break down, down it later. Um, but that also largely depends on the market circumstances, or at least bullish market circumstances could change that outcome. Uh, so for now, that's my analysis on the PERP token or perpetual protocol. If you do have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.